Woo! Look at that. Uh, we're back. It's 2019. It's a it's a fresh new year, right? Are, are we back every week starting now, or is this just a side off? We're back the break? every week. Are we? Okay. We are back. Okay. It's it's still our little uh, New Year hiatus. I, I forgot. I, I need to look at the schedule. Okay, sweet. But Wait, I'm looking at the schedule right now. Um, it does say we're dropping. A uh, six-hour Undertale video. On I need to talk the to you about that. Ninth, so we still. Yeah, I, don't I just edited that. Really, like, I spent just fucking all vacation editing that for like twenty hours straight. I was just clued in. i will be honest. I don't know if we if I want to drop that one. I just spent all. Yeah, but it's winter break. You right. said you said, make this the funniest super mega video ever, and I did, Matt. I promise you. Like, there's some stuff in it that I think that might ruin our careers in there, but it is the funniest super mega video I have ever laid my eyes on. Okay, well, in that case, go for it. Just again, it. again, several stuff that will completely decimate any future we have regarding super mega. Well, if it's funny, go for it. Okay. Yeah. Okay, because... Um, there's the part with John Tr where like he, he talks about Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well okay. keep keep it in, it's fine. Okay, okay, um, yeah. What if we just like what if in twenty nineteen we only uploaded Undertale <laughs> Let's Plays, no podcast six hours at a time. That's like multiple. And they're they're like three hours apart. <laughs> and it's just like <laughs> and, and I'm dying as usual, like on like the easiest enemies. And like half of it's just silent. We don't even commentate. I'm just like, ah dad died again. That's it. Oh, uh, we missed out on the Undertale wave. Dude. We did, man. But but we're back, ladies and gentlemen. We got a podcast, uh, like I said, still on a little hiatus, but we still wanted to get you that fresh podcast, that fresh, aromatic, sweet-smelling podcast. It's You smell really good today. Are you wearing cologne? No, I, uh, I'm i actually hygienically taking care of myself, so like, <laughs> I got, that was your phone. So nothing's changed in the new year, I, it seems. That That's one of my resolutions, is to turn my phone on. It's a just... You know, turn that little switch on it's your phone. It's a news notification about off. the Supreme Court. Well, I'm sure we can we can we can talk about that later if you want. Sure. Um, the ruling that Super Mega is the funniest YouTube channel to ever exist, past, present, and future. <gasps> no way. Yeah, dude. Fuck. We got Brett Cavett on there, and he's a huge Super Mega fan. So he was he's the one that actually brought that forward. So God thanks, damn. Brett. But uh, yeah, baby, you're taking care of yourself. Yeah, using uh, soap on those little pits. <laughs> like, I've I've gotten. Like good body wash and like good hair product. Like my, my hair is longer now, so I'm actually using decent hair products. And there's this product because I went to go get my hair cut, and the lady was telling me that I need to take care of my hair. It's Frenchie's Beauty Parlor. If anyone doesn't know, a really good place I recommend in Burbank. Um, I was there once getting my hair cut, and I was talking to the because because we we know the uh, the, owner. the hairdresser and the owner, and I was talking to her, and I and I remember I was telling her like tons of like, just personal stuff. And then the girl next to me, after like I just spewed for like thirty minutes about like the most personal details of my life and in YouTube and stuff, she looks at me. She's like, "Are you Matt?" And I was like, <laughs> oh, "Oh God, God damn it, <laughs> no!" <laughs> Wonderful. Yeah, but they do a good job there. I haven't been there in literally two years because I haven't had a haircut in a while. Um, and for the haircut that I did have, I just did it myself. So you could say for a two year period, I cut my own hair. Yeah, one hundred percent. You could you, you could actually classify yourself as a barber or like a hair. <laughs> you don't need a license that's just something that the government tells you you need but like to cut hair you can just cut hair I, I used to cut my own hair so now she gave me this stuff it's not styling gel at all all it is is after i shower when my hair's wet lather up my hands with it and i put it in my hair and Ooh, it, it, it's good. supposed to protect my hair from damage from the dryer and a bunch of other stuff for the hair dryer, not like yeah, when, I, when, yeah. when I throw myself into the dryer. After you get out of the shower, you're all wet, you just climb, just in. climb into the tumble. I turn it on tumble dry. You spin around for half an hour and get out. Because you know how fast it spins. Imagine me God just damn. like reading like a 200 book. <laughs> reading a book. You bring a flashlight in. <laughs> Scare the shit out of Lego. Well, you throw him in there too. When <laughs> yeah, no, I throw him in the washer when he's bad. I mean, <laughs> and then when you gotta dry him off, just yeah, throw him in there. Water. Yeah, that's great, man. Um, he's got a new cut too. Did, did you get him did his haircut? Yeah. Did I'm, you take him to the same place in Burbank? No. Did she cut his hair? No. Put him in one of the little chairs with the little little baby seat and the uh, the little like bib they would make you wear. It was a joke, dude. Why are you getting so offended over that? 
I want to move on to a different topic. Okay. That's personal. Speaking of speaking of like fan, uh, viewers, um, I was sitting in a coffee shop with uh, Harrison and Jackson, and we were joking about uh, one of our friends and how we were going to like drug him with Cialis so he would just keep getting erections <laughs> like, I, when, he, when he couldn't wait, control wait, it. Can I, I'm not, I'm not going to put this in. Can I guess who it is? Yeah, you know who it is. Yeah. Okay, 100%. Yep, yep. And, and we were... <laughs> We were saying how, like, when we saw him at New Year's, we were going to give him a big kiss on the lips, but, like, have a Cialis pill in our mouth, which Cialis is essentially, like, longer-lasting Viagra, and we were going to kiss him on the lips. Crush it up and put it in his drink. Well, we had all these ideas, too, but we were going to, like, slip the Cialis with a kiss, and then he wouldn't... We were going to go to a spa where he would keep getting erections. (laughs) Go to, like, a Japanese spa. Yeah, and he wouldn't be... We'd be like, come on, man, we got to get out now, and he would just be in there like, no, not right now, not right now. (laughs) Uh, So I'm sitting at this table talking to my friends about this, like, joking plan to, like kiss my friend and slip him a Cialis and then like the guy at the table next to me just turns he's like hey Matt from Super Mega right and he just heard the whole conversation I was like great great that's awesome wonderful <laughs> fuck Matt mm-hmm. I just realized for the thumbnail um, you know we didn't have enough time to get Don anything we're actually recording this the day it comes out and, so. I, and I don't want to draw another thumbnail so let's just let's what here we go. I'm just gonna climb over, and then that's 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 them. And that's a good thumbnail right there. Yeah, I, I really like I'm that thumbnail. Brighten it up beyond recognition. Yeah, make make touch it up in Photoshop. Do your magic. Do that Ryan McGee magic. <laughs> but we didn't have time to to get Don any of the art assets. So I just took a picture for the thumbnail. Yeah. So that's well, that's what you're seeing right now. If there's one thing about 2019 that's gonna be different, in Super Mega. You will notice it's the work. It, it, we're putting in so much more effort and, and quality into it, as you can tell by the thumbnail of this podcast. Um, that's an animoji. Yeah. We, dude, why are we paying Don when we can just be using like bitmojis as our characters? I don't fucking know. Like, it's just <laughs> we we need to like start the podcast off like with like fucking uh, Kitty Tom. What's his name? Tom the Cat. Tom the Cat. Yeah. yeah, he needs to introduce us, and then we walk out on stage with our little chibi designs, but as Bitmojis. <laughs> Can we just use Bitmojis? For I our made characters? you a Bitmoji, and I send you stuff as you. Yeah. No, I'm not talking about animoji. I'm talking about Bitmoji. Oh, well, I... your mom sends you all the time. Like miss you. Oh, or it's like her yeah. little character. Yep. Yep. Snapchat uses them. Thanks. We mom. should just use, we should make those our characters from now on on the channel. And anytime we need to brand something. Just go on the Bitmoji app and then get some new uh, high quality scenes from Bitmoji and uh, use those. I hate, I hate Bitmojis. I hate Bitmojis. Like Bitmoji might be one of the worst I, things to happen to humanity in I the 20th century. I had one for a little bit and then I just deleted it recently because I was like, this is stupid. Well, I don't d- like it. I don't like it at all. With Snapchat, you have to have the Bitmoji app. Yeah. So that's just sitting on my phone. And it's like, it's probably collecting my information to sell to some Chinese <laughs> advertising company. And then Bitmoji will be the downfall of us all. He's a white gentleman with a turban and big goofy sunglasses. That's with, your Bitmoji. With a Hawaiian shirt. That's he, yours. <laughs> yep. That was mine. Mm. He's and obviously they, a white man of Middle Eastern descent. Mine has like a football helmet on and uh Does it? Some big glasses. Yeah. <laughs> I know. It's you so just, stupid. You dude. just dress him up. Like if you make your Bitmoji look similar to you. Which is most people that I've seen. I'm just like, what are you doing? Have fun with it. This is like a me situation, you know? Well, yeah, you want to. Your bitmoji represents like the deepest parts of your soul. So, like, for people who just make it themselves, it's like, what the hell are you doing? It's not supposed to. It's supposed to represent you, but you want to. You want to scream from those those parts within you that that you can't show on the outside. So, bitmoji is the perfect vessel to carry out your your deeper feelings and and thoughts and and passions about yourself. Matt. Yeah. What's one of your New Year's resolutions? To express myself through my Bitmoji more. Aw. My Bitmoji is, I don't know, man. It's like, it's it's hard for me to speak my true emotions, but <laughs> maybe through my I should, Bitmoji, I feel like I really can express myself more. Maybe I should re-download the Bitmoji app. You're going to get Bitmoji right now? Who, like, who made Bitmoji? Like, what, how did, how did such a shitty, stupid thing that looks like it's like a create yourself flash game just take over all these apps it's a bad style it's, it's so a bad. bad style who made they're, it though like bad. where did it come from i don't know it just popped up one day and all of a sudden like all these apps are like yep bitmoji's here it's like was this google was this like facebook like who made bitmoji who created it's probably it. the bitmoji corporation jacob Balsat blackstock so like ball sack. <laughs> no, I knew someone with the last name Balzac. I'm not kidding. B A L Z A C. No, sorry, this is bit strips. Oh, I don't know what bit strips is the same thing, right? 
Because Bitmoji started where you could make little comic strips of you and your friends, which still weren't funny. Oh, yeah, he did the same thing. So, yeah, it's like CEO interview about Bitmoji and turning people into emojis. How did You're he, not turning people not into emojis. emojis. That would be great if you could. Dude, imagine creating your own emoji. I don't know like why having they haven't emoji. made it where you can make they your have own emoji emojis, yet. but they don't have like legitimate emojis. Where I can, can make, make my own little like yellow smiley face. Yeah. Just wearing, wearing glasses and just whatever, like a hairstyle. And why like, don't they do that? Wait, I'm sure there's an app where you can like. Yeah, but you can't send it. You know, yeah. it's probably because, you know, with all the different types of, <coughs> of phones, you know, it won't translate across Android to iOS and et cetera, et cetera. You know what I'm saying, man? You know? Oh, sorry. I was just looking at a picture. What is it? My dad sent me of him just kind of like enjoying one of his Christmas presents. Oh, well, he's having fun. Well, I didn't give that to him. I think he meant to send this to my send this to my stepmom. I'll just pretend I didn't see it. Yeah, just don't just pre- don't even respond to it. Yeah, because he might be embarrassed. I'm deleting the message now. That is, well, he's having fun with that present. I will say that he's having a he's enjoying himself. He's having a, a gape in good time. Yeah, I definitely say that. Um, well, let's talk about 2019 then. Um, H- how's 2019 so far? It's good. It's good. It's been slow. I mean, it's which is good because the end of 2018 for us personally was hell uh, on earth. It it, it was. In terms of productive, like in terms of like just hecticness, like up until five every night, waking up at nine thirty, just yep. to do it all again the next day because of the merch. Dude, and also, I hibernated once I hit oh my, my like home, like my home where like my childhood bed, childhood bed, like high school bed was a little race car bed. Yeah, well, except the first night I fucking had, uh, I had sleep paralysis again. <laughs> and it was awful because it felt like this time I've never had it like this before. I've always had it where I knew I was awake. And I always kept my eyes shut because I knew, like... You, you're aware that it's sleep paralysis and, and you, like, just fight through yeah, it. Yeah, and I don't want to see shit because that would scare me. And I'm like, I'm going to keep my eyes closed. And the way I usually get out of sleep paralysis is, like, trying to yell or make a noise. And then eventually it's just me going, Ugh, and, like, waking up. <laughs> and, uh, but this time it was different. It felt like... It felt like all of a sudden I started being lifted from my bed and my neck was craning back and it felt like I was being, I thought like in my head, I was like, am I being abducted by aliens? Yeah. I, I had sleep paralysis. Okay. So I watched. Now I understand why, why people who are a bit on the not normal spectrum way of thinking can be tricked into thinking they might've been abducted by an alien through sleep paralysis. I had the same 100%. alien abduction experience where <coughs> scary sleep paralysis I ever had. I was, I was sleeping on the couch at my uh, house back in South Carolina, back in like high school. And I fell asleep and I, I had been watching this terrifying like history channel thing about alien abductions. It scared the shit out of me. Cause when, when you watch that, was that one? Aliens? Oh yeah, was it that one? No, it, okay, it wasn't. Good. It wasn't Ancient Aliens. <laughs> that guy did. Cause I you showed you that clip from Ancient Aliens. I saw where they just like mirrored like a painting at like <laughs> yep. a weird angle, and they just made someone's face like mirrored, and it looked kind of like an alien because the angle they were at, and it was like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so fucking stupid. But I was laying on the. I fell asleep, and all night I've been thinking about sleep paralysis, and I don't know if this somehow made my brain like do it, but I woke up. And I felt like I was being lifted off the couch and like, like I couldn't move. And all of my fingers, I felt like there was like electricity flowing through my body. Like I was being shocked mm-hmm. and I felt like I was being lifted off like that. And I was like, fuck, I'm being abducted. And I opened my eyes and I saw a gray alien looking over me, like staring down at me. See, it, this is why I never opened my eyes during sleep dude, paralysis. Dude, it scared the fuck because out of me. Because you're still dreaming in your fucking head. And like, my, you're, yeah, Well, yeah. you're still partly in that state. And so I know if I open my eyes, I'm going to see something. And I'm like, I do not want to get myself. You don't want to see a shadow person, like, standing in the doorway. Well, I don't want to mix the images, if I can help it, of horrifying and my home in which I live in every day. Yeah, because then you'll remember that. And you're falling asleep at <laughs> night and you're like... What if that was root? I know. And um, my, like, I don't know. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> and and I remember I was trying to yell for my friend because he was sleeping on the other couch. <laughs> in the room, and I was like, ah, and I couldn't. And then finally it stopped. And then my friend woke me up three hours later. He was like, dude, I just had sleep paralysis. I felt like I was being abducted by aliens. And that scared the and shit out of like, me. I was like, abducted. I was like, dude, were we, were we like attempted <laughs> to be abducted? Uh, very scary shit. I hate sleep paralysis. But when I got home. I did not see the sun for two days straight because I slept until it was dark every single day yeah. when I got home. And then it feels good though sleeping yeah. a lot, like just because you and I were, like, we're sorry, we're we're still working on like, no, not working. We we're finishing up the process of like, there's some orders that got damaged in rain and stuff like that that we're gonna resend. And some out. people like the mail lost it, so we we are if 
We have not gone back through to respond to the emails yet regarding merch because we we set like a vacation thing, so it would send an automatic message back. Uh, but but the, the upcoming week we're gonna go through all those and, yeah. and fix all whatever it's whatever just, you got. We were dealing with a lot, like one hundred percent, like real. We were, you know, doing game grumps, uh, kitty cat gaming to an extent because we switch off every yeah. month. Um, that and uh, power hour, power hour. But then on, with Super Mega, we have more work than ever because a the merch stuff. But b thank God um, we have Justin, our editor. Yeah, though. he's a big he, help. Round of applause, round for, of Justin. applause for Justin. Twenty eighteen. What a wonderful boy! Everybody, go follow him. He's at nothing but lag on the good old. He's actually Twitter. in the description. You can go click that link. Yeah, it's, you can. it's all. It's, it's right very. There. It's also very unfortunate. He did um, pass away in an ATV accident over the Christmas break. Um, yeah, but we 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 have him on ice. We he called, went to go pick up his like cooler scooter thing like yeah. motorized cooler and he was so excited to get back that he wasn't really looking left to right at every turn nope very um, unfortunate but we do have the body on ice <coughs> uh parents luckily didn't care that much about it so they we had it shipped out to la so we're gonna see if we can there's witch doctors and shit out in yeah. california you can find any type of shit like okay. that so actually there's a fucking wizard i met the other day you met a wizard could, yeah and we just need to take him to yosemite and he says that possibly there's something he could do for justin just drop him in the volcano yeah. <laughs> so no let's plays until we can get justin all fixed we drop him in and in, in, <laughs> we drop him in like like we're just two fucking psychotic like Picture reality, just two people that think that they have to, like, take their friend to a wizard on top of a volcano or something, and they just throw in their dead friend thing. We, we dump them into, like, Yellowstone, and, like, it triggers Yellowstone's eruption, <laughs> which is, like, would be, like, like an extinction event, essentially. But, like, Justin comes back to life. No, Justin starts glowing, and he starts going up, and we realize he's the second coming of Jesus Christ. <laughs> we triggered the And that's why coming. all of our videos have been edited so well. Exactly, because <laughs> Christ himself has been working on Super Mega. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was doing my obnoxious laugh. I love that. Was that real? <coughs> I'm doing, like, well, it's part of me, like, coughing and laughing. So I, it's I like, liked it. <laughs> like that. I like that. It's you like it's like saying? a it's like a guy in a movie theater, something funny's happening. He's been smoking his whole life like <laughs> <laughs> Yep. That's like when I went to go see Anchorman 2 and the part where like the uh RV is flipping in slow motion. I remember the guy sitting in front of me was like screaming his fucking head <laughs> off and he was screaming out like this is hysterical. Oh, that's good. This is like, good shit. Like, like screaming that out loud and I was like, alright man, we get it. And every time something funny happened, he would commentate like this is funny, this is good. I actually, I went to go see the, uh, okay, I'm not proud of this, and I have no idea why, but I was about to say I saw the Ballad of Buster, Buster Scruggs. That's what I was supposed to say, but what I was really about to say, and I have no earthy idea why, is I was about to say, so legitimately, I was telling you a story. I was about to say, so I saw the gay ballad of Buster Scruggs. Like, I don't know why my mind decided to add gay in, in the in the title. Maybe it felt like it flowed better. I don't know. But that was the working title and they scrapped it. <laughs> yeah. I saw that in theaters and there's this there's this guy who was sitting a row in front of me and then to the left, probably like five seats, six seats. I'm not I'm not doing this up. Every time something quote unquote funny would happen, he'd be like And like he would like it was a loud laugh and like it was to the point where like people around the theater were doing this they were like looking at him <laughs> and it got to the point where two like a couple got up and left didn't come back another couple got up and left and then came back a theater person came in and like just st <laughs> stood there and the guy something funny happened again <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it's like we're like we're like I'm like what the fuck is he doing this on purpose is he ruining the movie for like everyone else on purpose so the theater guy comes up to him and he's like hey dude you gotta stop and like the thing is I I do feel bad for him because imagine he's, he's being probably just enjoying himself imagine how he looked he was red with joy he was red with joy. glowing with joy he was he was like he like, was so him, happy like I wish and I wish, everybody else ruined his fun because he was having too much of it that's the thing is like I wish I could find that much joy in something like just going to see a movie like the gay ballad of Mister I know I, I was I was looking at him I was like man I wish I was enjoying this movie just as much as you. Like, God, like, uh, if I could find <laughs> that kind of joy in anything besides sitting here with my friend Ryan, like, that would be, like, life would be so good. And oh, pe yeah. people got to come and rain on his parade. I, I was watching Mr. Bean last night, like, the, the TV show from the 90s. Oh, yeah. And that has a laugh track. And I remember there was one episode, and there's this one fucking dude in the, in the audience where when Mr. Bean would do something funny, he, he would get that laugh in, like, half a second before everyone else, like, Poo! 
<laughs> and just like screech. And you could always hear it. It made me think like you and I, we should start getting those free tickets to give out in Hollywood to like those sitcoms. And you should just go and do your laugh as loud as you can in, in like a... <laughs> <laughs> like that so like like we'll go to an episode of Big Bang Theory and you'll be like yeah that's, that's the episode where you can just hear of my laugh Sheldon. What's it, what is it Little Sheldon Young Shellman <laughs> oh yeah oh my god I've called him Shellman so much that you've started it's not his, yeah. it's Sheldon okay but we call him Sheldon because <laughs> Sheldon's funnier it also flows better off Sheldon my, yeah my Sheldon Sheldon Sh- isn't Sheldon a Pokemon like a little turtle one Squirtle no there's like a little like red turtle called Sheldon <laughs> There is it. Yeah, there Pokemon? is. Like a Pokemon Sheldon. Pokemon Sheldon. What? Bazinga. <laughs> is that show over yet? I thought they canceled it, but I still saw new episodes coming out. And last time I was at the Warner Brothers lot, I saw like Shelgon. they were still Shelgon. Okay, <laughs> not Sheldon. Well, that was Sheldon. Is that well, the turtle you're talking about? No. What? No. I'm thinking of a uh, Shell. Shel- There's sh- this one. Sheldon. Shield on. Shield on. Nope, that's not what I'm thinking of, dude. There's a Pokemon called, uh, hold on, Turtle Pokemon Sheldon. <laughs> what? Shell gone. No, there's no Sheldon. I Pokemon. swear to Christ there's that no there's no fucking Sheldon. In Diamond and Pearl, you'd get in the lava area, like up what? north. Yeah. Turtle Pokemon Red. Let me look that up. It was like a little tiny, cute, ye- yellow and red. Uh, here it is. Fire Pokemon? Found it. Sh- oh, it's called Shuckle. The fuck? <laughs> Sheldon. No, dude, I'm serious. There's a Pokemon named Sheldon. Oh, is it this one? No. Dude, when I saw this one for the first time, what's this one's name? Torkoal. When I saw Torkoal for the first time, I think it was in Ruby or Sapphire, I blew my load. I was like, that's such a cool Pokemon! That's Ryan's first ejaculation. I'm serious, man. That That's some uh, Mandela effect. Or I thought it was called Have Sheldon. Some respect. It's called the Mandela effect. Because Nelson, because everyone thought it started because everyone thought Nelson Mandela like died in the nineties, like a huge they portion he died in prison. Like a huge portion of people thought Nelson Mandela died. And then they had to make the Morgan Freeman movie to remind people he was still alive. Because the Mandela effect is weird, where it's like a big chunk of people will remember a specific event happening, but Invictus. then it's like no, was that, was that what it Invictus? Was the, Invictus? Was that the uh, was the soccer movie? But I, it did have Morgan Freeman as the Nelson Kurt Mandela. Cobain, not Kurt Cobain, fucking Clint Eastwood. Uh, Direct that? Do that one? Possibly. Didn't Clint Eastwood do one with, with about Nelson Mandela? That about, might have been Invictus. About Nel- Nelson Handjaba, right? God, that was bad. That was a really bad one. I In my head... Nelson Handjaba? Because in my head, I was thinking Hold Nelson... On, I'm, I'm really going to piece this one Nelson together. Handela, where he just gives hand There's jobs Jabba to everyone. Jabba the Hutt. No, that, well, I but, shouldn't have put the Jabba part. It should have well, been Nelson the, Handela. So where'd the Jabba come from? Because I wanted to make it like hand job. I could have just said Nelson Handela, and he just gives hand jobs to everyone. Yeah. And that was that. That was his legacy. Like his nickname was. Is there anything you can do with Nelson? Um, Jelkin, <laughs> Jel- Jel- Jelkin Handel. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. There you go. We found I did it. it man. We found it. Pieced it together. It, t- <laughs> it took a little way. We followed the roadmap. Um, some bumps in the way, but we 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 got there. Jelkin Handela. Name the episode Jelkin Handela, please. Guess guess what we're having today, Matt. Indian food. Yes! I'm so excited. I, I went back in time from yesterday and I was like, why do I feel like shit today? Oh yeah, it's because I had Indian food. When, um... I can't wait to have it after this podcast. We actually, uh, Ryan and I would love to go to India this year. We would. And maybe make some videos there. And uh, tell just, us, just goof around Tell in us India. all the funny places in India we can go. We can go to... All stop! The, all the goofy... Watch beeping. We, we can go to the, we can go to the uh, Bubba Gump shrimp in India. Shit. Yeah. You See, Ryan and I want to go to a Your bunch of foreign countries. I did. Uh, that's not disrespectful. Uh, no, Ryan, listen, listen to me. Listen to me. No, if you no. went into a fucking Sunday school service and this shit happened. God would smite you on the goddamn spot. A fucking lightning bolt would come down and. <laughs> now that's Zeus. God can God can sh- fucking shoot. They God thought. Just, God listen, they thought it was you. Zeus. They thought it was Zeus back then, but that was God all along. Yeah. Um. Yeah, my watch. And you know, remember Hermes? That's God too. Well, who was Hermes? I just the think messenger of the future, Futurama character. Did you see Hercules? No. Okay. Well, do you know what the you, the messenger God Hermes? He just he just delivers shit. Yeah. That's it. That's Hermes. Oh, that's it. He's just an idiot. How did how did all that stuff die out? Why is that not like a main religion? People anymore? went. That's stupid and goofy. Okay. <laughs> I, I mean, that is probably what happened. <laughs> that's exactly what happened. But also Greece. Well, Greece is still around. Yeah, but they're not worshipping the statues of Zeus over in Greece. There's probably some people that still pray to Zeus and Hermes and uh, 
Jer- Jermaculus every day. Jebediah. Uh, that's a biblical name. I found out Seth is a biblical name. Mm-hmm. It's crazy, man. So is Ryan. It's just the just the most white dude name. Wait, no, it's not. Eli is. I think I think Ryan is. Isn't, isn't Ryan a biblical name? Is it? I'm, I'm just imagining you with all the twelve disciples now, but you're wearing your gym shorts and flip flops, <laughs> and you're carrying, you're smoking like a cigarette and like drinking like a Gatorade. <laughs> Ryan biblical. He was the thirteenth disciple. Germanic origin derived from rock. Germanic. Power plus hard, strong and hardy. Look at you. You're, so your name means strong Wait, no, and hardy. This, this is this is the name for Susan. <laughs> so Shauna? What, Joseph? What's maybe? the meaning behind the name Ryan? Okay, what is the meaning of Ryan? Ryan is an English language given name of Irish origin. Whoa. Irish. Look at that. That's interesting because McGee's Irish. And I didn't know that Ryan was also had Irish origins. But my my... First name wasn't chosen because of that. It's because my mom liked some character named Ryan in some soap opera she watched. Oh, yeah. Um, my friend Tess apparently got her name because, like, her mom read, like, the most depressing fucked up book where a character is, like, murder and her name was Tess. So she was like, I'm going to name my daughter this. I, um... You didn't let me finish the meaning of my name. Why well, I thought you were done. Um... Go ahead. Just... It, it, Ryan is primarily a male name. It comes from... The Irish surname Ryan, uh, popular sources typically suggest that Ryan means little king or illustrious, Ooh. although the original meaning of the name is obscure, as in it, it's... It means it, Ryan is obscure. It doesn't mean obscure, but the origins of its meaning is obscure. Okay, okay. I'm pretty sure my name... Illustrious. That's interesting. I'm pretty sure I, I was named after that guy that collected debts in the Bible, so thanks, Mom, for naming me after... Everyone's least favorite person, a debt collector. It means a uh, gift, uh, gift, Matthew, gift of Yahweh. That's what that means. Yahweh. That's I love Yahweh. The uh, okay Hebrew name Yahweh, is Yahweh. Uh, fa so la te do matit Yahu. Huh? I'm gonna start going by the original uh, Hebrew version. Matit Yahu. Sounds like that's a, what Matthew came sounds from. Sounds like Maui. Matit Yahu. Matit Yahu. I got tit in my name, so there's no winning with usernames because they just won't whatever. let me. Tit twat. Tit for twat, man. You know, they just won't let me make my username Matt Watson because it's got twat in it. And if I changed it to my Hebrew birth name, Matit Yahu, that's got tit in it. So every website is going to be like, nope, can't do that. Um, but Ryan and I do in 2019 and 2020 and so on. We would love to start doing videos in other countries, like vlogs and, and just going around having fun. Um, Travel vlogs. Kind of, yeah, kind of. Where we just kind of do our regular vlogs like we do now, but just in a, another other, country. other places. But also... We don't Being wanna... just as respectful as yes. we are here in America. Because there's that whole thing if not where... not more so. You know, a lot of, like, vloggers will go to somewhere like Japan, kind of because, like, the fetishized idea of it and just be really disrespectful. Yeah. That's not what we want to do. We want to go, experience another country, have fun doing it, and make really funny videos doing it to share with the viewers while staying very respectful to the country's culture well, and people. I think mainly I just want to, like, have a good time. Yeah, I want to travel. And having a good time doesn't have to mean that you make everyone else's time like shit. Yelling in a it's Japanese business. It's only for five seconds. Yeah, yeah, I take a gun out and kill you. That takes less than a second. It's so like you what can't... are you saying? Does time equal, does time equal uh, quality? No, nah, it doesn't. It's not. And, and I hate that, like, fucking Logan Paul had to go and ruin going to other countries for YouTubers. Because it's like... I mean, I read another story he went recently. to Italy and he jumped in the fucking place where they all shit and piss. Really? The canal. Oh, really? Him and his brother jumped in it, I think. Good for them, man. I'm glad they're still making moves. Well, that was a while ago. Well, they they just got in trouble, or, Lo- or Logan did, or Jake, Jake Paul for Jake promoting for the like the gift boxes. And, yeah. What what's that about? It's some gambling thing, or like? Uh, basically, think of them as real life loot boxes, and they're. Uh, I mean, I don't see how it's any different than the loot box, except more expensive. And maybe I need to look up on it, like look up the shit more, like the facts, but. To me, I think it's just shitty because, one, Jake's an idiot. Two, Jake sucks. Three, Jake's a horrible role model for kids. And four, he, he, he claims that he is, aw- is aware of his audience but doesn't try to manipulate them at all, which is bullshit because all of his marketing tactics are that, uh, at least a lot of them are that of ones that uh, target small children and take advantage of them because... Um, with this one, loot boxes are big and stuff, but usually, you know, on Overwatch, you're buying, like, you're not getting real shit. 
you know. Yeah. So it's I, so it's, it's, it's that thin line of gambling, gambling, isn't it? It's that thin line of gambling when you're talking about gaming. Where it's like not illegal, but yeah. It's, and in this form, it really is gambling because it's like you can win up to a hundred million dollar house, or you can win this really nice, um, probably million dollar car, or you can. Or you can get a Nutella hoodie, or you can get uh, the shitty sneakers and all this other so shit. So it's not even like merch, it's just like random shit? Yeah, and it's random shit. And basically, this company pays a lot of money. Um, they, I think they actually offered good old Keem, the man, the myth, the dumbass. Uh, they offered him $100,000, and he turned it down. So if that's saying anything, they they definitely offered Rice Gum and Jake a shit ton of money. So basically... Um, they give the YouTubers a shit ton of money off the bat, like any other brand deal. Um, uh, and I guess they, then they give them a box and they open it up. It's, it's, it's a brand deal, except it's just Dude, shitty. Where do these companies get it's this just money? Shitty. Where it's like, here's a hundred thousand dollars to open our box. It's like, where did this money, where do they get this fucking money Cause, from? Cause, cause they know the, what are you Ross, doing? we're recording fuck a fucking doing, podcast. Ross? Are you are you trying to do voice acting? Yeah. Oh, sorry, man. You Don't worry. We'll, we'll we'll first look. podcast of the year, number one, two, three. You want to come say hi to? Everyone? Yeah. First podcast of twenty nineteen. Uh, hello. You want to promote anything, Ross? No, not this time. What Damn. about your? Aren't you camming now? Are you a cam girl now? So, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Sorry. Oh, yeah okay, sorry. So, sorry. Um, I'll cut that out so yeah. people don't so people don't look for it. Bye, Ross. Bye. Ah. I cannot stand Ross one more minute in this office. I can barely sit. Yeah. Um, well, that's the hemorrhoids. No. But, you know. Anyway, Ryan, it's about that time that we uh, say a little thank you to our sponsor. Wait, wait, wait. Are you saying, you know, we're talking about people giving giving Jake and all them shit for, for doing brand deals, and yet we're doing a, a brand deal? That's, but it's, a, it's different. It's a different thing. Why? Why? Is it They're like, promoting is gambling it, to wait, kids. Well, so you're saying just because we're providing a really nice service such as Harry's... <laughs> How does Harry's tie into your New Year's resolution? Let me Be tell you. Sorry. Boy. Harry's can save you about $100 a year if you're a regular shaver. Harry's products have won tons of awards, including a 2018 Ooh. Esquire Grooming Award. Damn. They'll keep you looking and feeling great. Esquire? That's that's, that's a classy-ass magazine. It sounds classy. It's like That's like the other GQ. Yeah. Well, 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 let me tell you something, Ryan. When I have to shave... My body parts, like my face, I use my Harry's razors. They sent us some free Harry's razors, and I do have to say, I absolutely love them. Um, they're the very, they, they slide across my skin. There's no, there's no pulling and tugging. And you know, Harrison and Jackson with me, and those boys grow facial hair like, uh, like, like no the tomorrow. Dickens. Yeah, like the Dickens. So I let them use the Harry's razors, Harry sent. Their faces are so smooth with no razor burn, no, no, no bumps. They just, they, they tell me, they're like, hey, when are you getting another shipment from Harry's? Because we need to shave, and those are some good razors. Wow. Not only that, Matt, but apparently, because it's the start of a new year, they've created a trial offer for our viewers. <gasps> they can claim theirs today by going to harrys.com slash supermega. But wait, there's more descriptions we have to read. Harry's founders were tired of paying for razors that were overpriced and overdesigned. They knew a great shave doesn't come from gimmicks like vibrating heads, flex balls, or handles that look like spaceships. I can make many jokes about that one, the way they worded it, but I'm not going to. Tactics, the leading brand, has used to raise prices for years. They've fixed that by combining a simple, clean design with quality, durable blades at a fair price. Harry's bought a world-class blade factory in Germany, got that Deutsch. That Deutsch Blade Factory. Heck yes. Uh, that's been making quality blade, blade for over Milky 95 God, years. Yeah. yeah, I did good there. They've been creating quality blades for over 95 years. <laughs> Not only that, they've received over 20,000 five star reviews on Trustpilot and Google. Harry's replacement cartridges are just $2 each as well. They also got rid of the upcharges and are about half the price of the lead brands. There's also a 100% quality guarantee. That means if you don't love your shave, let them know and they'll give you a full refund. That's a fu 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 fool refund. Get a $13 value trial set that comes with everything you need for a close, comfortable shave. That has a weighted ergonomic handle, a five blade razor with a lubricating strip and a trimmer blade, rich lathering shave gel, and a travel blade cover. Listeners of Super Mega Cast can redeem their trial at harrys.com slash supermega. Uh, yeah, so just make sure you go to harrys.com slash supermega to uh, redeem your offer and let them know uh, we sent you. So, uh, because you're, you're helping support the show. Yes. And you're getting a nice shave while doing it. 
Hell yeah. What could be better than that? Besides Nothing. winning two million dollars in the lottery. Or in or a, a million dollars. Jake Paul loot box. Or five hundred thousand dollars in the in the lottery. Or a hundred thousand dollars. Honestly, just if I twenty thousand dollars in the lottery. If I won anything about five dollars on a lottery ticket, I'd be happy. <laughs> I won I remember like I think I've won lottery tickets like four times, but each one time was like three bucks, so I just like it's like then I gotta go t drive it back in, do the whole process. A, a lot of people like, eh. like to do the uh, scratch offs because usually the win rate on those are a bit higher. Yeah, uh, because they give you just like three dollar, two dollar prizes. Every time um, the the Powerball or the Mega Millions is it like ninety billion or however much? Like I don't, it's not that much, but whenever it's like at its max, and everyone's going by, I always go and I buy some just because I'm like I'm not gonna win, but it's kind of fun, dude. Some people are. I'm glad that you have this mindset about the lottery because when I used to work at Food Line and I have to and I had the deal because I worked at the the front desk, which means I sold lottery tickets and uh, like propane and a bunch of other stuff. Whoa. Um, <laughs> I know. Um, so when I was doing people's lottery, there were people who were serious about it. They had like sets of ten different numbers. They're like, make sure these numbers are for the Powerball. Make sure, sure these are for the Mega Million. They'd get like, there's this woman that always came in. She would get. 10, bow, 10 Powerball, 10 Mega Millions. Then there was like a Palmetto something nine. I can't remember. Yeah, what, yeah, yeah. Whatever that one is. She would get one. like five of those and then she would get pretty much five of each scratch off. And like, I would just have to sit there and like type in the numbers and like get everything That's sorted expensive out. too. Oh, she spent, she would always spend probably around $200 on lottery oh God, tickets. It's just, oh, in the grand... In the grand in, scheme in the of grand things, scheme. she's like, if I if I end up spending a hundred thousand dollars on the lottery, but eventually I make back twenty five trillion, it all works out. Or if you don't win, you spend a hundred thousand dollars on pieces of paper. The original loot box, the yeah. scratch and sniff lottery tickets. Does it all smell like ass to you? Cause it is. It's a bad deal. They <laughs> should do that where it's like scratch and sniff, and if it smells like roses, you won. But it all smells of them smell like, a... like shit. <laughs> I know. It's like, then why don't ugh. we do that? We should do that. We should. Yeah, we should sell loot. And it's like, it's like if it it's smells like roses, you can come out and get a free trip with us. And like, yeah. Come hang out. Um, but like, <laughs> but most of them just smell like shit. Like, we, no, you and I specifically take a shit. Take those swabs, yeah. and it smells like either your shit or my shit. And like we take it to one of those like specialists that makes fragrances. <laughs> like, and we're, like duplicate we're like, this. Nathan, for you took the took the poop flavor to do the ice cream shit with, and he took it like the specialist. Dude, in Southern California, you can find anything. I guarantee we could take our shit to a, a, a fragrance specialist, and they could recreate. The exact flavor notes of our shit, like, exactly. <laughs> Ugh, that would be I, uh, awful. The thing about lottery tickets is it's like, I don't think there's anything wrong with buying lottery tickets, but I think some people, you know, especially people working, like, minimum wage, I feel like, and, and of course, it's not my life, so I'm not trying to tell people how to live their life. It's my life. Uh, Sorry. Don't you forget. Dun, 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 dun. It's my life. Bum, bum, bum. It never ends. It never ends. I love people that ends. groove like that. You can't see it, audience, but I'm like there's it. there's people that like you know kind of like do this, you know. Yeah. And then there's people like sly groove. Yeah. And then there's people that do this. It's like you have a twitch, and like it looks like sometimes because they don't know rhythm well. And I, I granted, I don't to an extent. But there's like the people that do the chicken bob because like they start to time the nod, but it's not at the right time. So then they like, they like fast forward. Their yeah, heads. it's like, <laughs> uh, OK, <laughs> yeah, yep. I um. <laughs> before I get back to the lottery, remember that time I went to that bar and there was a band playing and there was that old white dude and he was standing in the back <laughs> and he was clapping his hands over his head. But he was so stiff, just like, <laughs> <laughs> yep. and I filmed him and then I took I got rid of the audio and I just put basic yeah, bar put audio. Own, like... So I made it look like he was just clapping to nothing. <laughs> Yep. I gotta figure out what I what I did with that, but that was good. But uh, lottery tickets, I feel like my two cents is if you're making shit money and you don't have any money saved, and then you spend most of your money on on the lottery, you know, the you're you'd be much better off putting that in a saving account because it's like the odds of you winning they're there, but they're so small. It's like you're kind of just throwing away money. And they design the lottery, I think that way. So think about it this way: to trap poor people into that idea of like I could be rich. The people. The people, the, the odds are so small. If you're playing the lottery, just buy one ticket. Because even if you buy a hundred tickets, even if you buy a thousand tickets, your chances really don't go up that much. But the amount you spend does. So like, if you're like, I'm going to buy five. Do you know, do you know the percent of like how much that raises your chance of winning? It's, it's just so minuscule 
you you can't even tell but you think you know oh it's five more to five more chances to win it's like mm, just get the one that's all you need Unless you're going to buy a million lottery tickets, that would actually up your chances a decent amount. You know how much you would fucking spend? You'd spend I know. over a million dollars. I know, I know. And you got to do it in cash, too. So it's like you got to bring, like, duffel bags of cash to the gas station. But you you know how, you know the odds of winning the lottery. You've seen that number. Do you really think buying four extra tickets really raises your, like, raises those chances that much when looking at it? No. No, it changes it from one in... 500 million to four and five. <laughs> I know it's not that much. But then there's nothing like if you want to go have fun every now and then go buy one, go for it. <coughs> of I, course. I don't think it's smart to the people that go and spend like $200 when they don't have that much money. Don't, I I was don't in, make the lottery your job. Yeah. Or like you're one out because yeah. if you invest that money uh, or save it, just one more score. You got a lot more chance of or bet on horse racing. That's a much better option. Ryan and I have been betting on horses in the last year. He actually lost the channel for a couple of days. We couldn't upload. It was one of the hiatuses. We didn't say it, but he did bet the channel without asking. Well, I I would have won if like my like the last race, but the, the my horse tripped and he still had a considerable he lead. Broke he, his leg. he could have just no he, no that was the that was two two weeks ago. I'm talking about the one where the horse tripped. The guy got mad, took a shotgun out, and blew its brains out, and he still had ample enough time to yeah. win. I but mean, you still bet the channel in that one, which we lost. Yeah. And that was a fucking nightmare to get it back. We yeah. had to do a lot of things that we don't want to even talk about to get the channel back from that guy. Yeah. But uh, we did get the channel back. Um, and fuck we do, you, we do, Stoven Rogers. We do, st- fuck, I fucking hate Stoven. But we do have a, uh, a an agreement that we won't bet the channel in horse racing anymore. You can bet whatever you want. Doesn't, but, do, but you know, it doesn't say anything about cockfights or anything. Not, so. Well, we haven't drafted that one yet. So I better get this in before we draft that one up because I got a lot. Bet. I got a lot riding on on one this week. Is that why you're going to Tijuana this very, weekend? Very purebred. It's actually one that I that I bought in South Carolina and took on the plane with me. Okay, I told Ryan. people it was my my little my little uh, your ther- therapy dog. <laughs> <laughs> That's like a vest. <laughs> it was just scratching the hell out of me the whole just time. Because <laughs> just like, <laughs> no, just you ever like try to like pick up a chicken, they like freak out. <laughs> you sitting chickens on a plane are on drugs, it. dude. They're fucking mean. You can cut off their head and they run around still. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you can do that to people, too, if you want. I don't think that works the same. I don't think <laughs> Try a person it. will still. <laughs> That's the first big meme challenge of 2019. Cut off your friend's head and see if they run around. Uh, they were, dude, there was that guy that, um, he, in I think in France, during like the French, during like the guillotine days. Guillotine. guillotine sorry. It's from the Death Grip song, Guillotine. Yeah. I just want to say guillotine. Of course. Dude, Death Grips is so fucking sick. Bro fist me for that one. Uh, but 10 out of um, 10. I, I, he was allowed to like study people after they got guillotined. Um, where he would do this test where before they die, he'd be like, I'll ask you a question right if you get your head cut off. And then I want you to like blink twice if you can, st- if you're still conscious. And then like some people would be able to still do it after they got their head cut off. Really? Yeah. And that's scary. I mean, it could well, also, also like been muscle spasms yeah. happen. Like that type of shit. I like that face you just did. Because it's very, it's like rigor mortis but Because like when when a face is spasming, it, it probably looks more like a like a robot, like twitching, yeah. than it does of any normal human. That'd be freaky as hell to still see someone's facial stuff moving after their head gets cut off. Oh. I, I never wish to see that. Someone's head. I had a dream that while I was in South Carolina, so I, I take... Uh, Ambien. I don't, I do not. <laughs> I don't want to have a Roseanne incident. Um... You take Ambien and just start tweeting and, out racist and, shit. And drink a carton of eggnog before bed. Mm, I, I, I fresh up the Ambien and I mix it with the eggnog. Uh, Make sure a dash of cinnamon is in there. I can't forget the cinnamon. Or eggnog. Because you can get high as F and F and balls off of a uh, nutmeg. High as F and balls, dude. But uh, I, take a, I take medication every day uh, from, for anxiety. And it does. Uh, one of the side effects is I get these weird, vivid dreams. I get these crazy, vivid uh, just weird ass dreams that I wake up and like I'm like what the hell and I upped my dose recently and and one of the side effects that I've noticed is I talk in my sleep almost every night now and um fuck what was I saying why why you were I... having you were having a very vivid dream no before that what do you mean you were talking about not before the Roseanne thing fuck dude wait I, I it, it had to do with a dream. Oh, okay. I had a dream. I was in court, it's back, folks, and I was uh, I was on trial for. I was at Bible camp, and I had to teach some kids something, and I like accidentally taught it wrong, and they were gonna behead me for it. <laughs> and I was in court, like in shackles, and they showed me like before court started. They had like a promo video for like court, and it was just people getting beheaded, 
And it was like, this could be you. <laughs> and I was like, fuck, I'm going to get beheaded. And they all they all use like really sharp swords. Like a very bad slow-mo. car commercial type quality of like a thing. This could be you. Do you want to get beheaded at a lower cost? <laughs> Teach the Bible wrong. Dude, I, if we if Super Mega ever blows back in our face and fails, <coughs> inevitably, I say that we need to just, when we're down, like, just start making like local car commercials. Dude, what did... I've said this a few times, but Syndigo, before it was a sketch comedy channel, was we were just going to make it a business. And Daniel and I were going to go around to churches and offer up video services of like, hey, we can record your services or we can make promotional videos for you and stuff like that. That's a good market in South Carolina. I did that. I used to shoot well, I did. I, I mean, I did it for my own church, but I'm talking about like going out yeah. to like other churches no, and making I, it like a freelance thing. I did that for my church a couple times. Um, and then I also... Uh, we weren't religious at that point. We just knew that churches love that shit they love getting filmed <laughs> oh you know? yeah i i shot a couple weddings back in the day before i started doing like full like back in freshman year of college you and, shot uh, up a couple weddings i did um fun stuff and i actually i would go and i would take my cameras and some friends and i would shoot a wedding there's no way to like say it where it doesn't sound like like yeah i went and i shot a wedding yeah i was just checking up like to see the newest like uh, Spider Man movie, but they don't let you shoot at the movie theater. Mm. So I've gotten away with shooting in a movie theater before, though. Really? Do you remember that? Do you remember that <laughs> time we saw the Emoji Movie in theaters and we started live streaming? Like, oh yeah. We didn't say a word, but we started like live streaming the screen during we started the movie. Live streaming the actual movie. And then you leaned over and you're like, "Wait, we could get in trouble for this." So we had to just it's, stop. It's like a federal law. And like, it's like before dir- the movie starts, directly like, it was directly connected to our super big account. <laughs> There were like 7,000 people or some shit watching. We're like, wait, this is totally illegal. <laughs> we're just streaming the emoji movie. You, you were just like, all about you that, were like, should, should I go live on Periscope? And we just went live during the movie and started like filming it. I forget about that. We didn't show us. We didn't film. I don't think we said anything. I think we no, we did it. it. It was just like in like kind of just <laughs> between the seats <laughs> looking at the screen. What if we, I wish we just streamed the whole people thing. People are like, what is this? And then when they figured it out, it's they the were like, oh movie. shit. And I think it's because we saw some comments like, guys, you're going to get in trouble. Like, oh shit, you're right. We didn't even think about that. And then we just stopped it and enjoyed the emoji movie. So Sony pictures or whatever. We we we, we realized our wrong. <laughs> we, did, we didn't mean to... Uh, <coughs> We didn't mean to defraud you by filming three minutes of the Emoji movie, which is on YouTube. It's on Pornhub. Is it? Yeah, the whole movie's on Pornhub. You can go watch it on Pornhub. Okay. This is a weird thing, but... I'm excited to see where this will go, because I brought up Pornhub, and now you're bringing something up. I've gotten into a new type of porn, and I I don't mean to get too... I'm not going to say the specific channels or anything, or give any details, but peop, you know how there's vloggers on YouTube? There are now vloggers on Pornhub where they just go to different cities and like vlog and like show the sites and stuff. And then they just fuck. But it's like all like amateur type shit. But also like the vlog segments are filmed really well. Like with like, it seems like it's with a slider. Super mega Patreon 2019. So we're going to go vlog in cities <laughs> and then just, just get our fuck on. Yeah. That's what we're doing, man. Okay. We should have a feet Patreon. I would love to do a porn no hub. Brandon Wardell does that. I would love that. to do a Pornhub show at some point. I think another YouTuber like reviews some porn or something. We and should and we shows should. on Pornhub. We should because Pornhub porn has reviews. ads and shit now. Where you like, yeah. skip back. We should we should do like we should watch like weird porn and review it. If Pornhub wants to throw that deal our way, I would love to watch some weird ass porn and review it. Matt or play hentai games or something on Pornhub. Matt, as a friend, I highly recommend you look up those vloggers on Pornhub. Email it to me, man. Okay. I'll, uh, I'll check it out. I'll be sure to check it out. Use the business email. Yeah. So I can I can really, uh, just just for curiosity, check it out. Okay. You know? The one where the password's paper towels or the other one? Uh, The other one. The okay. Thing, the firecrackers. Got tree. it. Yeah. Okay. Um, make sure you cut that out. Uh, you know how many people are going to go try to log in? <laughs> firecrackers 3. <laughs> Actually, speaking of porn, we want to do one more ad read real quick. Uh, we got to thank another sponsor who has so kindly sponsored our podcast. This time, it's uh, it's the man in green tights. It's Robinhood. Yeah. Robinhood is an investing app that lets you buy and sell stocks, ETFs, options, and cryptos, all commission-free. They strive to make financial services work for everyone, not just the wealthy. Bernie Sanders. It's a non-intimidating way for stock market newcomers to invest for the first time with true confidence. It's simple and intuitive. There's a clear design with data presented in an easy-to-digest way. 
All right, let's talk a little bit about Robin Hood and our experience using let's it. Let's talk a little about this Robin Hood, okay, this, this, folks? This, this green man. <laughs> Listen. This green menace. Other brokerages charge up to $10 for every trade, but Robin Hood doesn't charge commission fees. Trade stocks and keep all your profits. Please well, understand uh, <laughs> market data. You can place a trade in just four taps on your smartphone. Uh, Robin Hood's web platform also lets you view stock collections like 100% most popular, sectors like entertainment, social media, uh, curated categories like female CEOs, funniest podcast, super mega cast, and analyst ratings of buy slash hold slash sell for every stock. And let me well, tell you something. Well, what about funniest female CEOs? We're not on that category, but that, 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 I'm sure that's a category on there. Um, probably not, but C, f- female CEOs is a category. I actually use Robin Hood. Um, uh, I, I signed up after they sponsored us, and I do have to say, I legitimately uh, use it throughout the week. It's cool. I have a couple, couple little tiny stocks. Uh, it's kind of fun. It's kind of fun just going watching them, watching them yeah. grow, and then. And I actually use Robinhood to put some stocks in singular. That's Robinhood with R O B Y N I N. Ryan. I hope it wasn't a lot of money. You need to make a call, don't you? Yeah. So for people who are wondering, you have to go to Robinhood. It's spelled R-O-B-I-N-H-O-O-D dot com. But if you want like a good deal on our part, then I guess the address would be megacast dot Robinhood dot com. They're giving our listeners a free stock like Apple, Ford or Sprint to help build your portfolio. Megacast dot Robinhood dot com. Ryan, uh, I think you got scammed. Uh, Yeah, I I think you need to go take care of that. Yeah. Um, Yeah. I'm going to go take, I'm going to go put in a call and then uh, okay. we'll finish up the podcast. Okay. You're back. Uh, Ryan just got, got off the phone. Yeah. Uh, did you get your money back? Talk about it after the uh, podcast. When can we do another merch sale? Oh, we still have a lot of merch on the way. Uh, that's not here yet. So it's not yet. Not so we're doing another one in the month of January? Maybe. Oh. Maybe. We got some new merch, guys. Uh, never before uh, seen. Uh, cool stuff. I'm excited. Yeah. But, oh God, oh, I feel a belt coming. But it's like... A belt? A belt? Belch. Okay. Oh, it went away. That's the worst. It's just like that pressure builds. I mean, it's like... There's a man assigned to me. And he checks on my stability. Yeah. yeah you know... Classic, man. Classic. Yeah. Also, we got Seattle and Portland shows coming up next month. Those are all sold out. Uh, but if you're coming, it's going to be a lot of fun. And then uh, after that, we will have more dates to announce. Um, I believe so. I got a couple of dates this week, if you know what I'm saying. My man, Ryan. <laughs> all right, dude. Slaying it, man. Uh, court dates. Oh. Well, still slaying it, man. Hope yeah. you win. Hope me you win. Too. These me cases too. do not look fun. You shared a little bit with me. Yeah. I shouldn't even say that because that's illegal. But, yeah. you know, it's. I, I hope you win. Yeah. Odds are not in your... Favor. Ball Hunger is not games. Uh, Hunger games. Good yeah. Book. Well, I mean, you actually are. Your legal crises are not looking good at the moment. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, 2019 looks like it's going to be a, a different year for me. So, in terms of well, all that, the things you did were highly illegal. It's a new year, new me. Uh, we do want to preface by saying, if Ryan does end up in jail by June or so, uh, we'll find a new co-host. I mean, I could. I could um, I could Skype from the jail. They don't have phone Skype in jail, but you like, could. You, you I could, could call from the jail phone for like fifteen minutes. That's enough, like time to that's do. A, that's play. enough. Yeah, we could put some ads. in You that. could describe to me what's going on in the game. All right, Ryan. Or you could live stream it to Mario. Me. He's got. He's wearing overalls. He's. I just jumped. Oh, like jumping into your mom's bed. <sighs> Very nice. <laughs> it's just like you're like on a that's prison on a pay filter. Phone. That's on a shitty. <laughs> and then you just get cut off because the time's up. <laughs> Ryan? Oh, we lost him. And then I gotta wait, I gotta wait like two hours until you can call back. All right, I had it paused. All right, I'm pressing start. All right. And then you just get like brutally assaulted with someone that wants the phone and just like, oh, is he job? No! Just get your ass kicked. And I just hear someone like, some guy picks it up, hello? And then they just hang up. And that's it. Imagine it's Super Mega from jail, dude. We get to go to one of those billionaire prisons where we can still run Super Mega. Uh, like Pablo Escobar? We can build our own Super, super Megaplex. And do it from there. Watch fucking Dukirk in the movie theater. Ooh, yeah. We can make our own movie theater and go see Dukirk again. Great yeah. movie still. Seriously, Dukirk is fucking phenomenal. Still film. holds up. We also well, both like, saw... Okay, as it's aged, I've realized that 
as as an experience, it's a it's a really good IMAX theater experience. As a movie, it's still a decent war film, but I think uh, Dukirk pales in comparison to the likes of you know Saving Private Ryan, Full Metal Jacket. Or if you use the brand deal we told you about Harry's, you can be shaving Ryan's privates. Yes. Do you like that one? That was a good one. Thank you. Is that how we're ending the podcast? No. Uh, no. Real quick. Because I am hungry. I want Indian food. Well, real quick. We both saw the movie Vice. Uh -huh. with Christian Bale as Dick Cheney. Yes. And we both liked it. Uh huh. We both enjoyed it. We both also. Um, I didn't see the end credit scene, which you said, thank God, because that put a bad taste in your it mouth. Did. It was a terrible end credit scene. scene. It was terrible. Um, small hands Cheeto, man. Ha 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 ha. Um, but overall, the way I would explain it is I really. I, it kept me interested. I enjoyed it. There was just a lot of stuff where that happened, where the execution on certain things, whether it be the editing, like the ideas or, were good, but yeah, the, like some of it felt like a BuzzFeed video. I yeah. will say that's what my friend Harrison said, and it's like I really did like the movie. I felt like the editing was kind of poor or jarring sometimes. Yeah. but other than that, good movie, good acting. Go see it. It's very educational if you're more interested about uh, the George Bush era and the Iraq War, because uh, you guys were probably, a lot of you were probably youngins when that happened. We so were youngins. I remember that. We were youngins, yeah. I mean, I remember the video of uh, Saddam Hussein. You know what video I'm talking about. Where he does the kickflip? Nope. Oh, the other <laughs> one, yeah. Okay. Yeah. The kickflip one's cool. Yeah. But the other one is... Well, I mean, they're the same video, but I was talking about the, the, the thing that happens right after the kickflip. He doesn't stick it. He kickflips straight into, you know... Yeah. His uh, predicament. That was, I mean, that was that was good on their part, tricking him into that. <laughs> you know, they're like, but you can't do a kickflip. And he does it. Watch and he's like, this. Uh oh, I'm in a noose now. Slips, Whoops. slips to the rope, and there you go. Actually, I, that was probably one of the cleanest I've ever seen. In yeah, terms but it's of on cell flips. phone video, so you can't really get a good clear view of the kickflip. But, but you, you can hear it, it. You can hear it, and you know that it was solid. It was yeah. a solid kickflip. Well, guys, uh, podcast is on Spotify and iTunes. Um, we're still on our hiatus, but we'll be back uh, in a week or two. I'm not sure. We're, we're working we're on still doing the content. podcast. Um, but if, if we're not back uh, sometime next week, we will still have a podcast next week. Yep. Um, and we want to thank you for all your support in 2018. Uh, cheers to more in 2019 as absolutely. in cheers to more content hopefully more live action content you know what we promise a lot of stuff instead of promising stuff I'm just gonna say just we're gonna get it done we're gonna get it done we're gonna give you guys a really good year hopefully yeah and, uh, and go watch the best of 2018 yeah. it's a clip show we have some live action segments at a park yep. uh, everyone was commenting on my hair and how I looked like review bra and if you miss snowy mega there's a best of compilation of that or you can also go back and watch through snowy mega which is our uh, holiday special stuff um, yeah, but go check out. I, I honestly do think the the best of 2018, the year in review, great video. It's about almost two hours long. It's all the best clips from 2018. Got podcasts, live, live action, action, gaming stuff, yep. everything. So uh, and some cool fan art at the end. So uh, also keep that fan art coming, guys. We fucking love that, and we want to find ways to start featuring that in more videos. So uh, put it on Twitter. Twitter is probably the best place we'll see fan art. Just and add us just and tag be us. like. Use our Hashtag please. super mega art. Let's, yeah. let's, let's get that going. Yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway, guys, uh, love you. See you next week. Bye-bye. <laughs>